Back by popular demand, it's time for episode two of Midnight Gospel. The first episode was was kind of a trip. It was really, uh, it was a lot. It was a lot. I'm not sure why I didn't continue it. I, I think I was a little bit intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel like this format, the reaction format, doesn't actually do a show like this justice. But you guys asked for it, so here we are again. I was planning on watching it anyway, so... Why not? Here we go. Let's do episode two, shall we? By the way, Netflix took down a Tiger King video I did. It's Good really annoying. Morning, Manually flagged. Farmers. It's so beautiful. Be the colors are just so amazing. Oh, that's the dog Hall. from the first episode. Sponge the president's dog. Master, I have something I need to show you over here. Maybe in a second, I'm, I'm messing Who's talking? The, the vagina thing? It's badass. Look at that. <laughs> Damn, editing looks so easy in this universe. Fucking upload you bags. Yes, that's right. I have never connected so strongly with the main character before. You guys think this is some deep show about spiritual concepts? Actually, this is just about the life of a struggling YouTuber. Except that the only universe you can go to is your room. Always. Deactivate pop-up now, now. It's difficult to concentrate when you're being yelled at by a friend. Ouch. Okay, just, <laughs> please deactivate Ugh. pop-up. Well, the computer hitting him with some bitter pills. Officer. Are you into the driving baseline? Do you hear the sound of the hoofed one in the forest, master? I'm intrigued by the hoofed one in the forest. As I am dying. You're not dying. You're a machine. We're all dying. It's all right. What, you don't think clowns are fun? They're terrifying. Come on. You come on. You come on. No, you come on. You I want to be the hoofed one no, in the forest. Come on. Three, two, it's really in there one. again. And he gets shot out of a boob. His house is a woman. He goes into in a... Three. Thing and comes out of another Whoa. thing. I love the travel music, it's so Whoa. great. The cycle of life. A beautiful clown baby, freshly born from his fruit. Many clown babies now gather. Stop. Leave him to leave. Peaceful deer dogs. They're gonna eat him. Truly a scene from heaven. This reminds me of. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I mean, well, they are fruit, so. Namastics. Nice. Friends in a trap. Oh, I see. They have guest names in it. Are you worried because it seems like we're all about to die? Hmm. It does feel that way, but I've actually had a lot of deaths in my life. Here we go. My dad died, and then my best friend died after I had my baby. Neil, my partner, is a hospice volunteer, so... This one's about um, death? There oh, are boy. So many young people Finish Midnight Gospel, Alex. It'll be fun. You're gonna have a great time. You're gonna love it. It's so much fun, it's a barrel of laughs. Let's have a wonderful time together watching Midnight Gospel, talking about all the people in our lives who have died and all the loss that we have suffered. I don't get how people recommended that I take hallucinogens while watching this. I don't have the fortitude for that, mentally. I'm having a meltdown right now, and we're only six minutes into the into the episode, and I'm sober. <laughs> Good. You know what? Good. This is how you grow. This is what shows should be. They should make you reflect. They give you the space to explore something emotionally without having to actually experience it. You get a little microcosm of something, and you can grow from it. Loss is a tough one, though. All right. Well, let's go. Death, 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 rot. Because when you're a kid too, when you're young, how old are you? Do you mind my asking? 44. Are you really? God, you are so great looking. Really? You have beautiful wow. skin. It's a blessing. There's no reason to feel Getting a late start in YouTube. Blessing. I know that feeling I too. I think probably God just loves you more than other people. All jokes aside, God loves me the most. If I had had this information at, you know, 30 and 40, my whole life would have been quantifiably better, easier, much more free. So the information you're talking about, acknowledging death what information? is an inevitable part of... Yeah, it's so freeing to accept mm. it. This is so interesting. It's interesting timing because I've actually been thinking a lot about death recently. That sounds worse than it really is. What I mean by that is... uh. Man, this is a long story that you guys don't want to hear. But here it is anyway. <laughs> I just saw a video from PewDiePie, I know, about the idea of memento mori. The idea that you should remember death. Death is coming and that reflecting on that, meditating on that, is a way of finding true value, true meaning, and kind of taking away all of the inessentials from your life and from your mind. It's something I thought about a lot in the past, but I guess it's something that I have to relearn over and over again until it sinks in. You forget, you know, you get wrapped up in material possessions and material things and ambitions and frivolous plans and it's easy to lose sight. I first thought of this, I remember, when I played the game Persona 3. That game is basically about accepting death and it stuck with me. I've been thinking about that game ever since. I actually have a poster of it on my wall. I don't know if you 
you guys can see that. Yeah, I mean, this is from the stupid dancing spin-off of that game, but it's the best I could do. <laughs> it just reminds me of that. Memento Mori, remember death. Oh, sh Speaking of material possessions. Talking too much again. I hate to ruin this moment, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I gotta take a sh Do you, uh, Great. mind? I just think oh, it was bad. Oh, good timing, um, good timing. This one's gonna haunt my dream. Would it Your dreams? What about Anne? Do you feel that? The stuff that enlivens us and heals oh, no. us doesn't come on bumper stickers. Except you know, your deaths. It's, it's hard fought. Except it faster. It takes me. And that's, yeah, that's sort oh. of how I had my are still talking. Of... <laughs> that's so beautiful. That's so pure and Good real. Good mantra. <laughs> yeah, that's a mantra. You know, so many artists I've talked to, when they're confronted with the idea of doing anything therapeutic, they think that it's going to destroy their ability to be funny. Do you, do you ever think, like, well, wait, mm. maybe if I... I felt terror that if I stopped drinking, I would never write again, because I needed the misery. That's so interesting, and also horrifying. I feel the opposite way. I feel like I do my best stuff when I'm feeling good. I don't know. Like, when I have people around me, when I have friends around me, when I feel confident about the future, that's when I that's when I really do good things. But I guess I'm grateful that that's the case and not the other way around. It's terrifying to imagine being reliant on your misery. Although maybe in some way everyone is reliant on their misery in some way, right? You get kind of used to it, you get kind of attached to it. I think looking at what she's saying from a broader perspective, I think everyone holds on to certain anxieties or certain negative emotions because they think they need them, because maybe it's part of their identity. It's probably a survival mechanism that we've come up with from some trauma in the past that helped us to survive a certain situation, but that now is probably more harmful than beneficial. But they persist. So when I was 24, off I went to India. I met Ram Dass over there. He said, meditate like Christ. I say, well, how did he meditate? You know, which is this famous story, and he just went back, closed his eyes, and tears came, and, and right then, we experienced Christ. Um, wow. One of the things Good that... stuff. One problem that I have with this show so far, in two episodes, is that the conversations they have are just way more interesting to me personally than the animation. The animation is good. It's really detailed and beautiful. It's just, it's a little bit distracting. I kind of want to just close my eyes and listen to what they're saying. I think I did that in the last episode, right? Yeah, I did. And that really... Is it going to take human form? Alright, here we go. Here's the chaos part of the, the episode. I guess this is the thing. Meditate on death, everyone. Meditate on death. I mean, this is pretty badass. Oh! What the hell? Who the man? even cooler than the president. I didn't think that was possible. He must have 24 charisma points. The conversations are amazing and the animation is amazing. They just don't go well together. It's like one or the other works really well. Like if they're just talking, that's great. If they're just doing animation, that's amazing. But together, it's like it's too much. Also what oh, here we go. Okay. I said through love, all pain will turn to medicine. And Jesus says, everything I can do, you can do. He had a very human death. God never leaves him for a second and you breathe. And it's what heaven will be like. Beautiful. Wow. Absolutely. A new pair of glasses. Whoa. And they give you ice chips and some very cold apple juice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you know what comes out? New life. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Thank Cycle you. Cycle of life. Yep. Your favorite people. Clown universe turned out great, Thank I guess. You. So lucky. Thank you. Duncan? Who's Duncan? <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, I'm a little overwhelmed. Gotta talk, because it's a reaction video, and if I don't, Netflix will take it down. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just processing it, but making noises so that Netflix doesn't copyright strike me. A lot to take in. No, get rid of it. Didn't expect to be meditating on death and Jesus. Thank you for making me watch this and, and suffer, suffer in the most beautiful way. I like that episode a lot better than the first episode. I felt like there was more substance to it. I guess it's because personally I'm not that interested in the drug debate, hallucinogenic experiences, drug trips. While I am interested in that and I have my own thoughts on it, it doesn't strike me as as important as death. <laughs> 
So this def this episode definitely grabbed me in ways the first one didn't. I'm glad that we resumed this series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if I'm talking too much. I really don't have a choice just because what I've discovered is that Netflix actually goes through videos with a timer. And if you have a any clip over 30 seconds where you don't say more than like, yeah, or wow, then they just kill the video and it's gone forever. So got to find a balance. But I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you for episode three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, like the video. Thanks.